Hi Ken, welcome to Pacific Toyota here in beautiful sunny hot cans. Um, mate, before I get to the uh, Mazda 6, what I thought I'd do is show you who Pacific Toyota are. So this is us mate. Um, we have two premium used car lo locations here in Cairns. Uh, right now we're in used car lot number one. As you can see, it's a little bit bunched up at the moment. Um, we have a little bit of construction work that's been happening on the front line here. Um, but our yard sort of holds anywhere from about 70 to 80 cars at any given time. Um, and then about 2Ks down the road on Mulgrave Road there um, is our second used car lot. Um, and they hold anywhere from about 30 to 40 cars. And then we've got our two brand new showrooms across the road. Uh, so we've got Toyota and Lexus over there. Mate, let's get back to the uh, the Mazda 6 wagon. Um, so I'll show you through the entire, well, the car's entirety. Um, we'll go through all the paint and panel work, through the engine bay, the interior, all that sort of stuff. Give you a good look, that way when the car gets steered, there's no nasty surprises. Um, so without further ado, here's the vehicle. So, what I'll do is I'll start it up, that way you can hear it. Start it up. As you can hear, she's running and make sure there's an engine under there. Yeah, you've got an engine under there, which is fantastic. We've done half the battle already. So, inside the engine bay, as you can see, you've got a nice big, large four cylinder sky active technology master engine. Very fuel efficient, but Nonetheless, it is very clean inside the engine bay, which is fantastic. And we'll go through the uh, all the paint and panel work now for you. So there are a couple of stone chips along the front, um, as you can see, sort of unavoidable. You know, we're travelling on the roads these days, but all in all, uh, a nice clean uh, front end there. Both stone chips, we'll get some silver touch-up paint on that for you. Through the front bonnet. Bit of dirt. Nice and tidy through the front bonnet. Give you a look up the uh, panels here. As you can see, no visible dents. Slight mark just on here, scratch mark, get some touch up paint on that for you. It's no drama. All in all, nice and tidy through the, uh, the uh, driver's side there. Moving right along, couple of little dents just in the rear bar here. Couple of scratch marks. But other than that, nice and tidy. Got the warning in the back. Again, nice and tidy through the back area there. Go down the... Uh, Passenger side now. Again, giving you a look down the panels. No visible dents. Um, tires, they've got um, plenty of tread left on, left on them. They're almost near new. Give you a look at all the uh, paintwork now. Slight little mark just on the wheel arch here. Other than that, nice and tidy nonetheless. Go this side. Give a look at this. this second row of seats, I'll just pop them up. So air conditioning controls in the rear. And these are your rear seats. Nice and tidy through the second row of seats there. We'll jump in the cockpit now. Give you a good look in there. As you can hear, the aircon's on and it's nice and cold. Turn down the fan speed. So as you can see, 63,231 kilometers are currently on the odometer. Uh, all your window controls just here. And 
and they do fold in. It took me a while to figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, but as you can see there, you just turn the door, and they fold back out. Uh, moving right along, you've got your eye stop, so that just shuts the engine off when you're at a, tra at a set of traffic lights. And as soon as you um, take your foot off the brake, the engine re-engages again. It's just a fuel saving uh, device, which is pretty cool. And then your traction control. Now with this model here, you do get um, paddle shift. So that's this button where my finger is now. So it just changes up and down through the gears. Um, when you put it into your manual mode, you've got cruise control um, and you've got Bluetooth and stereo controls over on here. Automatic headlights, as you can see there. And you've got your automatic windscreen wipers as well, as you can see. Um, so your infotainment system um, is controlled all by this here. Or you can use your fingers to um, control it as well. So if I just go back to the home. You can see here. Control it by your finger. So I'll just make sure it all works. station programmed in here. So you can see she works nicely there. So like I said it does come with Bluetooth, does come with USB connectivity and AUX. They're all located in there with your auxiliary port. So you've got dual USB in there. Um, and it does come with satellite navigation, as you can see. So put that back. Satellite navigation pops up in your screen there. Now beside your screen, you can see you've got your push um, stop, start, stop button. Um, so it's your push button start. Down through here, you've got dual zone climate control. So each side can have their ideal temperature, which is perfect right through to your automatic gearbox and your um, driving mode selection. So you can have it just normal um, normal driving mode or if you want to feel, feel a bit sporty, you can chuck it into your sports mode. Um, so when I was saying about the manual mode, that you drive, that's in the manual. So you can change through the gears, either with your gear stick or with your paddle shift, as I mentioned before. And then there you're all your stereo controls. So you can use it down here or you can just use your touch screen. Um, so I'll give you a general look around the car now. Passenger seat. Right through to the center console area. Do get two keys also, and they are two remote keys, as you can see there. Let's jump out of the car and give you another final look. So Ken, this is the virtual tour of the 2015 Mazda 6 in the sports wagon. Um, and let me tell you, it is a perfect example of a uh, Mazda, Mazda 6 sports wagon. So what I'll do, Ken, I'm, I'll uh, upload this to YouTube now. I will um, forward you through the link. That way you can have a watch and then we'll have a chat further from there. Cheers.